A very good evening everyone. I am Gulapsa, your mentor and I welcome you all to the session called RBI 247. In today's session, we will cover important finance related current affairs and based on the news, we will discuss certain key concepts related to them. But before that, since we all know that the RBI Grade B Phase 2 exam is on June 25th and there is less time available to complete the entire syllabus, therefore we have come up with a solution, we have come up with a structured course which has already been started from 30th of May. The course will be taken by Anut sir himself. The entire syllabus of Phase 2 will be discussed in a very comprehensive manner yet timely. The timetable of this has already been shared with you on the telegram group. In case of any queries, you can call us at 9999-466-225 and you can also write to us at info at the rate anujindal.in. Right now the course is available at 40% discount. You can use the course, you can use the code RBI40 to avail the benefit. Apart from that, if you need any exam related updates, live video sessions, monthly magazines as well as all of these features, you can simply download our app from the Google Play Store. All these features and benefits will be available to you at one stop area that is our app anujindal.in. So let's get started. So the first question on the screen says, what is the ATM that is automated teller machine that is set up, owned and operated by non-bank entities called? Now what are these non-bank? Non-bank means NBFCs, okay? non-bank finance companies. The options given to us are white labeled ATMs, brown labeled, yellow, pink or green labeled ATMs. So, the correct answer to this question is A, white labeled ATMs. Now, in the further slides, we will see ki in sub ke differences kya hote and what are the features of all these type of ATMs. So, moving forward, for, so the first one is white label ATMs. These are ATMs that are set up, owned and operated by non-bank entities. Non-bank entities are NBFCs and only those NBFCs that are registered under the Companies Act of 1956 or 2013 per se will be allowed to own and operate a white label ATM. Apart from, apart from that, the NBFC also requires to have a minimum net worth, a minimum net worth of 100 crores. Okay? Apart from that, there is one more criteria and eligibility criteria for NBFC to set up white label ATM that is it has to take authorization, it has to take authorization from RBI under the Payment and Settlement System Act of 2007, right? So RBI ki authorization bhi zaruri hai, then only such NBFCs will be able, will be allowed to set up, own and operate a white label ATM. Okay? Also, in order to encourage the NBFCs to set up these white label ATMs, in September 2015, the government of India permitted foreign direct investment up to 100% in order to set up a white label ATM. Okay? Eligibility day clear, non-bank entities can operate this white label ATM and in that case, the NBFC has to be a registered company under the Companies Act of 1956. It also need to have a minimum net worth of rupees 100 crores and thirdly, it will have to take authorization from RBI under the Payments and Settlement System Act of 2007. And the first company to come up, the first company to which RBI has given the authorization is Tata Communications Payment Solution Limited under the name of IndyCash. Ye aapne dekha hoga. Now this ATM has no name of the bank. Yaha pe bank, bank ka koi naam nahi hai. Yaha pe SBI ya fir Indian bank mentioned nahi hai. Iska matlab whenever a white label ATM is set up by, by a non-bank by a non-bank entity, they are not supposed to write the name or to brand the name, brand any bank in its ATM, right? They do not have the branding of any bank on it. And the first company to receive the authorization from RBI was Tata Communications Payment Solutions Limited under the name of Indy Cash. 
आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू यू वाइट लेबल ए टी एम्स क्या होते हैं ए टी एम्स डेट आर ओन सेट अप एंड ऑपरेटेड बाई एन बी एफ सीज और एन बी एफ सीज की एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया मैंशन है फर्स्ट इट हैज़ टू बी अ रजिस्टर्ड कंपनी अंडर द कंपनीज एक्ट इट शुड हैव अ मिनिमम नेटवर्थ ऑफ हंड्रेड करोर एंड थर्ड इट नीड्स टू टेक ऑथराइजेशन फ्रॉम आर बी आई अंडर द पी एस एस एक्ट ऑफ टू थाउजेंड सेवन नाउ a uh, foreign direct investment of up to 100 person this is done in order to have a wide a wide availability of atms throughout throughout india in order to increase the atm in order to increase the atm in the country rbi has authorized nbfcs to set up this white labeled atms also rbi is also mandated the nbfcs the non bank the non bank finance companies to set up this n n to set up this atms in tier 3 to tier 6 cities compulsorily moving forward talking about brown labeled atms a white label dekh liya what are brown labeled atms now under the brown label atms this is there is basically a contractual a contractual agreement a contractual agreement hoti hai a contractual agreement between a bank that is the sponsor bank between a sponsor bank and the service provider and the atm service provider now this atm is based on the concept of sharing of cost theek hai यहाँ पे हम कॉस्ट शेयर करते हैं बैंक डज नॉट अंडरटेक द सेटिंग अप ऑफ द एटीएम हार्डवेयर इंस्टेड इट 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 कन्फाइंस इट सेल्फ टू द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ कैश एज वेल एज द नेटवर्क कनेक्टिविटी तो यहाँ पे कॉन्ट्रेक्चुअल एग्रीमेंट होता है बिटवीन द बैंक द स्पॉन्सर बैंक एंड द सर्विस प्रोवाइडर वेर बाय द सर्विस प्रोवाइडर ओन्स द ए हार्डवेयर he provides and owns the atm hardware and the and the sponsor bank confines himself to the management of cash as well as the network pro, and as well as the network connectivity and thereby since the sponsor bank manages it it has the branding of the bank itself several banks such as sbi hdfc indian bank they they undertake this contractual agreement with the service provider and their names are mentioned over it so what is the distinction between a white label and a brown label atm is that in the case of brown label atm the atm machine contains the logo of the sponsor bank these are an cost effective solution for the bank as the bank has not to own the atm the atm hardware it can only manage the cash as well as the network connectivity also in case of brown label atms there is no compulsion from rbi to open atms in tier 3 to tier 6 cities theek hai white label mein kya tha rbi ki taraf se compulsion ka कंपल्शन था एन के लिए कि वो ए ओपन करें ऑपरेट करें टीयर थ्री टू टीयर सिक्स सिटीज में हावेवर सच कंपल्शन आर नॉट देयर इन केस ऑफ ब्राउन लेबल्ड ए टी यहाँ पे शेयरिंग ऑफ कॉस्ट के बेसिस पे ये ए रन करता है जहाँ पे ए हार्डवेयर is owned by the service provider and the management of cash and the network connectivity is looked after by the sponsor bank i hope ye aapko clear hoga moving forward and talking about the yellow pink green and orange labeled atms what are yellow labeled atms these are those atms which are mainly installed to provide the e-commerce facility any type of e-commerce facility that is from the internet if you are availing any facility over the internet then for that an atm has been set up which are known as the yellow label atms pink label atms you must have heard about pink slips similarly pink label atms are meant specifically for the women so that women are not are women's do have women's are not required to stand in queues they are not required to stand in queues or to have long waiting time in order to facilitate ease of ease of usage of atms for the women pink label atms are also been set up at certain places so that the waiting time is not there for the women aur yahan pe guard 
को अपॉइंट किया जाता है सो दैट द गार्ड ओनली अलाउज द वेमेन टू एंटर इन टू सच ए टी एम्स टॉकिंग अबाउट द ग्रीन लेबल ए टी एम्स नाउ दीज आर स्पेसिफिक ए टी एम्स मेंट फॉर स्पेसिफिक पर्पजेज सो इन केस ऑफ ग्रीन लेबल ए टी एम्स दीज आर इंस्टॉल्ड फॉर ट्रांजेक्शन रिलेटेड टू एग्री ओनली एनी टाइप ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन रिलेटेड टू एग्रीकल्चर नाउ दीज ए टी एम्स विल बी यूज फॉर सच पर्पजेज एंड सच ए टी एम्स आर ऑल्सो सेटअप इन द रूरल एरियाज ठीक है so that any type of transfer any type of financial transactions related to agricultural sector can be done through this green label atms talking about orange label atms these are atms that are used for share transactions we can also do the transactions through upi as well however there was there were certain atms which were which were meant for uh, share transactions for transactions related to purchase of shares so in such case orange label atms were also set up i hope these are clear to you white label white label kiske liye tha nbfcs that are owned and operated by nbfcs brown label mein kya hota tha sponsor bank hote the plus the service provider right sponsor bank and the service provider sharing of cost and cost effectiveness yellow label atms for e commerce pink label atms as the name suggests it is specifically meant for the women green label atms for agri agri related and lastly orange label atms meant for share transactions i hope this is clear to you now i have taken the question on atms and the types of atm is that recently rbi has issued a direction whereby it has asked all the banks atm providers as well as the atm networks to provide cardless cash withdrawal facility at all atms theek hai and this directive has been issued by rbi under section 102 and under section 18 of the payment and settlement systems act of 2007 what is this interoperable cardless cash withdrawal interoperable means that if you have if you have an account in any bank you can use the facility of the atm you can use facility of any atm to undertake transactions of any bank account that you have and now you can go to atm and you need not required a physical card aapko physical card ki zarurat nahi padegi you need not require a physical card in order to undertake in order to withdraw cash right now you can simply you can simply have the option of cardless cash withdrawal whereby you can use the facility of upi or your phone the facility of upi to withdraw cash from the atms this facility has been provided why has rbi provided such facility now there must be some reasons right there must be some utility of so there must be some utility behind such an such a directive that has been issued by rbi so the utility is that first to provide convenience there will be convenience every time you need not carry your physical card और आपके साथ भी हुआ होगा कई बार कि आप कार्ड भूल जाते हो घर पे राइट सो नाउ यू नीड नॉट वरी यू कैन यूज द यू पी आई फीचर इन ऑर्डर टू अवेल इन ऑर्डर टू विदड्रॉ कैश फ्रॉम द ए टी एम सेकेंड वॉट कैन बी द पॉसिबल यूटिलिटी ऑफ कार्डलेस कैश विदड्रोवल द सेकेंड फेसिलिटी इज दैट देर विल बी लेस कार्ड स्कीमिंग और कार्ड फ्रॉड्स जो कार्ड फ्रॉड्स होते हैं वो कम हो जाएंगी राइट कार्ड फ्रॉड्स कम हो जाएंगी कन्वीनियंस इंक्रीज हो जाएगा थर्ड देर विल बी मोर सेफ्टी मोर सेफ्टी ऑफ द फाइनेंशियल इंफॉर्मेशन विच वेर विच वेर विच वेर प्रोन टू फ्रॉड्स बिकॉज ऑफ द कार्ड दैट वी कैरीड राइट सो दिस आर द यूटिलिटी ऑफ हैविंग अ कार्डलेस कैश विदड्रोवल फैसिलिटी एट ए टी एम्स नाउ मूविंग फॉरवर्ड वाई हैज आर बी आई इशूड द डायरेक्शन so if you are following the news and if you have read the april week 2 document 
the April week two document. Thereby, we have discussed about the monetary policy statement that was released on April eight, two thousand twenty-two, and along with that, RBI has also issued the statement on development and regulatory policies, whereby RBI had announced that it will have announced that it has proposed to make cardless cash withdrawal facility at all the ATMs. which will enhance the ease of transaction and prevent any kind of frauds such as card skimming card cloning card ki cloning kar liya jata hai that there is a duplicate card of the same card that you are having or any type of device tampering theek hai earlier before rbi's uh, rbi rbi's directive on this ICCW there were this there, this facility was limited only to a few banks few certain certain banks provided this facility that also on a on us basis what is this on us basis on us basis means that that the bank is providing this facility for their customers at their own atms अगर एस बी आई का कोई कस्टमर है और उसको ये यू पी आई फैसिलिटी के थ्रू कार्डलेस कैश विड्रोवल दिया जाता है देन दस बेसिस मीन्स ओनली एस बी आई कस्टमर ओनली एस बी आई कस्टमर प्लस एट दी एस बी आई ए टी एम्स एस बी आई ए टी एम्स अगर आप किसी और ए टी एम पे चले जाते हो फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर आप एच डी एफ सी ए टी एम पे जाते हो If you are an SBI customer and you are going to an HDFC ATM, then this is known as on uh, off us. This is on us and this is off us basis. I hope this is clear to you. Moving forward, in order to uh, in order to have this ICCW facility, RBI has also advised NPCI to facilitate the UP. integration with all the banks as well as all the atm networks all over india the upi would be used by the customer for the authorization in such transaction uh, authorization aapko apne phone ke through dena padega that also through the upi and the settlement the settlement will be done through the fun national financial switch or the atm network what is this national financial switch it is basically a hub a centralized place whereby it interconnects all the atms in the country thereby facilitating convenience banking theek hai jitne bhi atms hain india mein in sab ko inter interconnect karta hai nfs that is the national financial switch and thereby any kind of settlement agar sbi ka customer ICICI में चला जाता है या एनी अदर बैंक देन सच सेटलमेंट कैन बी डन थ्रू दी नेशनल फाइनेंशियल स्विच व्हिच इज द लार्जेस्ट नेटवर्क ऑफ शेयर्ड एटीएम्स इन इंडिया राइट नाउ इट इज रन बाय एनपीसीआई पहले कोई और इस किसी और ने इसको डिजाइन किया था बट राइट नाउ इट इज रन बाय एनपीसीआई दैट इज नेशनल पेमेंट्स कॉर्पोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया ठीक है नाउ एनएफएस शुड बी रिमेंबर्ड फुल फॉर्म भी बहुत जरूरी हो जाते हैं एट टाइम्स वी हैव सीन इन द एग्जाम दैट फुल फॉर्म्स हैज बीन आस्ड फॉर अ वन मार्कर क्वेश्चन ठीक है तो फुल फॉर्म इज इम्पॉर्टेंट व्हाट इज एन एफ एस एन एफ एस स्टैंड फॉर नेशनल फाइनेंशियल स्विच मूविंग फॉरवर्ड वॉट आर दी अदर फीचर्स दैट हैज बीन मैंशन इन द डायरेक्टिव द आर बी आई सीज दैट एनी काइंड ऑफ ऑन अस ऑफ ऑफ अस आई सी सी डब्ल्यू ट्रांजेक्शन इट विल बी प्रोसेस विदाउट द लेवी ऑफ एनी चार्जेस so any kind of on us on off us transactions which are processed uh which are processed under iccw that is cardless cash withdrawal there will be no charges other than those which are prescribed by rbi so for for providing the facility under iccw there are no additional charge theek hai secondly the withdrawal limits सपोज एक ए टी एम से आप तीन बार तक विड्रॉ कर सकते हो इन ए मंथ तो सच लिमिट्स विल बी विल बी एप्लीकेबल टू दी ऑन अस ऑफ अस ए टी एम विड्रॉवल्स अंडर दी आई सी सी डब्ल्यू आई होप दिस इज ऑल्सो क्लियर टू यू मूविंग फॉरवर्ड आर बी आई ऑल्सो सीज दैट एनी इंस्ट्रक्शन रिलेटेड टू दी हार्मोनाइजेशन ऑफ टर्न अराउंड टाइम वॉट इज दिस टर्न अराउंड टाइम समटाइम्स वेन एवर ट्रांजेक्शन हैपन समटाइम्स दे आर सर्टन फेल्ड ट्रांजेक्शन right and in order to resolve such failed transaction certain time is required and the time required differs from person to person or from transaction to transaction 
so in that case rbi has issued a guideline so that in case of any failed transactions the customers are compensated compensated and it is harmonized with the turnaround time theek hai such guidelines which has been issued by rbi on harmonization of turnaround time would continue to be applicable to iccw facility theek hai we have talked about turnaround time so in case of any in case of any uh, resolution of consumer complaints rbi has come up with a prompt and efficient customer service whereby it will pay a compensation to the customers in case of any failed transactions in order to resolve their complaints this is all about the turnaround time the 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 time the maximum time the the time which has been required the time which is required for for resolving the complaints if it increases to a longer time period then rbi has come up with a compensation framework whereby such customers will be compensated for the inconvenience caused to them moving forward to the second question which says which of the following is deployed by npci to interconnect the atms in country and facilitate convenience banking we have already discussed this the correct answer to this is c national financial switch what is national financial switch it is basically a hub a centralized system whereby all the atms all over the country atm 1 atm 2 atm 3 all these atms are interconnected to this hub so that in case of any type of transaction settlement for example agar aap sbi ke customer ho par aap hdfc ke in uh, atm pe ja ke cash withdraw kar rahe ho then all type of settlement is done through the nfs that is national financial switch the other options in this question are aadhar enabled payment service check truncation system national automated clearing house and aadhar payment bridge system now all this five facilities or services are provided by npci inka matlab kya hota hai what are their features we will be discussing in the coming slides so talking about aadhar enabled payment service naam se hi clear hai clear hai ki yahan pe aadhar ka use kiya jayega the use of aadhar number for providing any kind of payment services theek hai so what happens is yahan pe uh, yahan pe financial transactions are undertaken through the business correspondent or we say bank mitra इनको हम बैंक मित्र बोलते हैं बिजनेस कॉरेस्पॉन्डेंट्स और द बैंक मित्र इनके थ्रू अगर हम कोई फाइनेंशियल ट्रांजेक्शन्स करते हैं एट पॉइंट ऑफ सेल विच इज़ आल्सो नोन एज द माइक्रो एटीएम्स अगर आप किसी के पास जाते हो किसी एजेंट किसी बिजनेस कॉरेस्पॉन्डेंट के पास जाते हो जो रजिस्टर्ड होते हैं किसी बैंक के द्वारा नाउ इन इन अगर आप उनके पास जाते हो कैश विड्रॉ करने के लिए या फॉर एनी अदर facility then in such case your aadhar number will be used in order to provide you with the services of withdrawal of cash or other financial services theek hai aadhar authentication required hoga to is case mein kya hota hai ki aapke jo banking information hote hain wo safe hota hai you need not provide your bank account number every time if you want to avail any of the facility of withdrawal or deposit theek hai thus in this way this aadhar enabled payment service adds another layer of security to our financial transactions theek hai now again the full form are very much important what does aeps stands for aeps stands for aadhar enabled payment system moving forward to check truncation system what is this check truncation system cts now cts is also known as image based clearing system image based clearing system mein kya hota hai suppose aap sbi ke customer ho theek hai you have you have an sbi check theek hai aapke paas sbi ki check hai aur aap isko deposit kar rahe ho kar rahe ho kisi icici ke बैंक पे बैंक के ब्रांच पे ठीक है तो पहले क्या होता था इफ यू प्रेजेंट एन एस बी आई कार्ड एस बी आई चेक टू ए आई सी आई सी आई बैंक वो डिपॉजिट ले लेते थे अपने पास नाउ द फिजिकल चेक वॉज ट्रांसफर्ड टू एस बी आई ये चेक एस बी आई को ट्रांसफर किया जाता था 
थ्रू द क्लियरिंग हाउस क्लियरिंग हाउस के थ्रू और ए एस बी आई आफ्टर वेरीफिकेशन एंड एवरी थिंग ये क्लियरिंग हाउस को देते थे जहां पर सेटलमेंट किया जाता था इस चेक का तो अब आप यहाँ देख सकते हो कि आपने एस बी आई की चेक को आई सी आई में जमा किया अब आई सी आई सी आई इस चेक को एस बी आई जो बैंक है उसमें जमा करेगी जो स्पेसिफिक बैंक है नाउ दिस बैंक विल आफ्टर वेरिफिकेशन विल सेंड टू द क्लियरिंग हाउस फॉर द सेटलमेंट ऑफ द चेक राइट तो इसके इस प्रोसेस में क्या होता था बहुत ज़्यादा टाइम लग जाता था इट वॉज अ टाइम कंज्यूमिंग प्रोसेस दे बाय इन ऑर्डर टू हैव अ क्विक चेक क्लियरेंस बहुत जल्दी चेक क्लियरेंस होने के लिए आर बी आई हैज अंडरटेकन द चेक ट्रांकेशन सिस्टम अंडर विच अंडर विच इफ यू प्रेजेंट दिस चेक इफ यू प्रेजेंट द एस बी आई चेक टू द आई सी आई सी आई बैंक दे विल क्लिक एन अमे इमेज ये इमेज क्लिक कर लेंगे एंड दे विल वेरीफाई विद द एम आई सी आर कोड वॉट इज दिस एम आई सी आर कोड दिस इज द मैग्नेटिक इंक कैरेक्टर रीडर राइट दिस कोड and this image will be sent to sbi who will verify it and it will send to the clearing house for the settlement to yahan pe jo check clearance ka time tha ye bahut zyada kam ho jayega check clearance time will be reduced so yahi purpose hai rbi ka check truncation system lane ka which is a process of clearing checks electronically electronically how by sending an image of the check along with the micr code rather than processing the physical check by presenting bank and route to the paying bank branch physically inko jama karne ke bajaye you are sending an electronic image of the check to this bank i hope this is clear to you cds stands for check truncation system i have uh, taken this image as well yahan pe aap samajh sakte ho कोई कस्टमर है एस चेक लेकर आ रहा है वो एंड ही इज डिपॉजिटिंग द चेक इन एच बैंक और फॉर दैट मैटर एनी अदर बैंक अब व्हाट दिस एच बैंक विल डू उसके पास फिजिकल चेक आ गया इट विल फर्स्ट कैप्चर द डेटा डेटा कैप्चरिंग हो जाएगी थ्रू स्कैनिंग ऑफ द चेक एंड मेंटेनिंग द एम डेटा एंड द फिजिकल चेक विल बी डिपॉजिटेड इन अ कॉमन वेयर ठीक है नाउ द इमेज the data which has been captured will be sent over to the payment bank that is sbi check hai to sbi bank ke paas bhej diya jayega right and the clearing house will make the settlement and thereby the check will be accepted and the payment will be processed and a much less time that was then that was required under the physical under the physical system of check clearance i hope this is clear to you moving forward to national financial switch as we have already discussed its aim is to interconnect all the atms in the country be it white labeled or brown labeled and facilitate convenience banking it was initially designed developed and deployed by institute of development and research in banking technology idrbt that is institute of development and research in banking technology in 2004 however it was taken over by npci on 14th december 2009 and right now it is the largest network of shared atms in india theek hai nfs stands for national financial switch the last one is national automated clearing house what is this automated clearing house so this is basically a centralized system ye ek centralized system hai of check settlement theek hai clearing house ka matlab hi wahi hota hai ek centralized system hai that provides you with web based or electronic solution to facilitate any type of interbank high volume electronic transactions jaise hum upi bhi karte hain right high volume not high value volume ka matlab bahut zyada repetitive aur periodic nature ke transactions hain aur bahut zyada hain for example suppose agar uh, government pay subsidy ab wo ek insaan ko to pay nahi karta there are lakhs of people to whom to who are eligible for the subsidy under certain schemes of the government so in that case uh, one can government uses the nach that is national automated clearing house in order to undertake the high volume electronic transactions to pay a repetitive kind a, repet a repetitive financial transaction to a large number of persons i hope this is clear to you repetitive or periodic nature ke hote hain and nach is used by banks 
financial institutions government and even corporates why would corporate use this na corporate ko bhi salary dena hota hai har mahine dena hota hai right every month corporate would have to give salary or in that case it will have to give give dividend to its equity shareholders so in for all these purposes corporates can use nach in order to undertake the interbank electronic transactions which are repetitive as well as periodic repetitive har mahine and it is periodic also government of india uses this for for providing subsidies or in that case any interest of government on on any government securities similarly banks and financial institutions also uses this for their purposes now moving forward the last one is apbs that is aadhar payment bridge system what is this aadhar payment bridge system so this is this facility is also provided by npci jitne bhi abhi humne baat ki hai panchon ke panch wo sare facility ya services npci provide karti hai and this and this facility is specifically used by the government and government agencies in order to make direct benefit transfers with respect to various central and state sponsored schemes theek hai to jitne schemes ke andar direct benefit transfers kiya jata hai that can be done simply by using the aadhar payment bridge system apbs iske andar kya hota hai the system takes your aadhar number jo aapka aadhar number hota hai as the as your financial address ab sabke paas different account honge different banks right and different regions and different branches so under this facility your aadhar number is taken as your financial address and direct benefit transfer is done directly in your aadhar linked bank account aadhar linked bank account theek hai so this facility is basically used by the government to make direct benefit transfer please remember the features these are important as well as the full forms aadhar payment bridge system Moving forward to the third question the question says according to the data released by Department for Promotion of Industry Internal Trade DPIIT India has reported highest ever highest ever FDI inflow in financial year 2022 now which of the following is the top investing country in India for the financial year 2022 the options are Mauritius US Netherlands Singapore and Cayman Islands now if you are following the news according to the data released by DPIIT Singapore is the country is the top investing country in India let us see the news what does the data that has been released by DPIIT department of department for promotion of industry in internal trade says it says that in the financial year 2022 RBI India India has attracted a total foreign direct investment of 83.57 billion which is an increase of 1.95% over the last year last year 81.72 billion dollars se but this year it is 83.57 billion dollars right and this increase shows that India is still a preferred investment destination amongst the global investors ठीक है तो एफ डी आई हैज इंक्रीज इन इंडिया ना वॉट इज एफ डी आई एफ डी आई आई होप एवरी वन ऑफ यू नो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू इन ब्रीफ एफ डी आई इज बेसिकली ए प्रोसेस वेर बाय अ रेसिडेंट ऑफ अ कंट्री सपोज यू एस का कोई रेसिडेंट है ही इन्वेस्ट ही इन्वेस्ट मनी इन इंडिया इन अदर कंट्री राइट हाउ डज ही इन्वेस्ट ही इन्वेस्ट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ he invests in the form of let's see acquiring the shares acquiring the shares in order to have a control over the day to day business day to day business of the company to so, fdi kya hoti hai fdi mein kya hota hai कि एक रेसिडेंट किसी भी कंट्री का इन्वेस्ट इन अदर कंट्री इन्वेस्ट इन कंपनीज ऑफ अदर कंपनीज बाय एक्वायरिंग द शेयर्स और बाय प्रोवाइडिंग विद कैपिटल इन ऑर्डर टू हैव कंट्रोल ओवर द डे टू डे फंक्शनिंग एज वेल एज 
any type of production investment or any type of operation which is undertaken by that company so yahan pe ye bas paisa nahi de raha hai along with the along with the money it is it is having control aur ye control kaise hoga by by making by making you use of its skills wo apne skills apni knowledge as well as expertise इन तीनों चीज़ों का यूज़ करके वो बेसिकली कंट्रोल बना रहा है उस कंपनी के बिजनेस में सो दिस इज़ द बेसिक पर्पस ऑफ एफडीआई। सिमिलरली एफपीआई क्या होती है फॉरेन पोर्टफोलियो इन्वेस्टर्स जब भी आप पोर्टफोलियो की सुनो पोर्टफोलियो इन्वेस्टर्स दे आल्सो इन्वेस्ट इन द कंपनीज हाउ दे ओनली इन्वेस्ट इन द शेयर ऑफ द कंपनी इनका कोई से नहीं होता बिजनेस में दे डू नॉट कंट्रोल द बिजनेस और दे डू नॉट हैव अ से बाई यूजिंग देयर नॉलेज और एक्सपर्टीज दे जस्ट इन्वेस्ट दे जस्ट इन्वेस्ट इन द शेयर इन ऑर्डर टू अर्न प्रॉफिट आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू यू मूविंग फॉरवर्ड सो एज पर द डेटा सिंगापोर इज द टॉप इन्वेस्टिंग कंट्री फॉलोड बाय यू एस एंड मोरिशियस Singapore is the top investing country amongst the state it is Karnataka who is the top recipient of FDI with a share of 38% of the total FDI equity inflows followed by Maharashtra and Delhi at third position and the FDI flow which has been received by Karnataka has been reported in the sector of computer software hardware as well as automobile industries and education ठीक है एंड बेस्ड ऑन दिस वी कैन सी दैट इंडिया इज रैपिडली एमर्जिंग एज अ प्रेफर्ड कंट्री फॉर फॉरेन इन्वेस्टमेंट्स इन द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सेक्टर व्हिच इज इंक्रीज बाय 76 परसेंट इन द फाइनेंशियल ईयर 2022 मूविंग फॉरवर्ड व्हाट डस एफडीआई कंसिस्ट ऑफ हमने बात कर ली एफडीआई की कि एफडीआई बेसिकली प्रोवाइड्स मनी इन ऑर्डर टू हैव अ कंट्रोल इन ऑर्डर टू हैव अ सी इन द बिजनेस ऑफ दैट इन द बिजनेस ऑफ द कंपनी इन दैट कंट्री एफडीआई has three components the first is the equity equity by acquisition of shares acquisition of shares through mergers and acquisition agar koi foreign ki company kisi indian company ke sath merge ho jati hai by acquiring its shares then it will come under equity and under fdi second is if an fdi is done through greenfield investment what is this greenfield investment greenfield investment means you are starting up something from the scratch either you are setting up a subsidiary up subsidiary set up kar rahe ho theek hai or you are coming up with any offices theek hai matlab you are not investing in any existing company you are either coming up with a subsidiary or starting the starting with the process of production from scratch the, that is known as greenfield investments fdi also consist of reinvested earnings what are reinvested earnings agar agar fdi pehle se tha it must have earned certain profit certain dividends on it it has not taken back the dividend to its uh, origin country it has instead invested the earnings in that company itself that is known as reinvested earnings it is also a part of fdi and the third part is other capital other capital includes any type of loan whether short term or long term which is provided by the parent by the parent company in say us to the subsidiary or to the existing company in india that comes under an uh, other capital i hope this is clear to you fdi has three components equity reinvested earnings and other capital if we talk about the equity part of the fdi it has contracted by 1% in financial year 2022 and the top recipient the top recipient of fdi equity inflow has been in the computer software and hardware sector theek hai followed by services and automobile industry Moving forward to the last question for today the question says recently which of the following payment bank introduced issuer charges for aadhar enabled payment system to be effective from june 15 2022 we've already talked about aadhar enabled payment system jahan pe your aadhar number is used at pos that is point of sale or micro atms provided or run or run by the business correspondent or the bank mitra 
ठीक है ये जो ऑपरेट करते हैं वहाँ पे आपका आधार नंबर के थ्रू ट्रांजेक्शन फाइनेंशियल बैंकिंग ट्रांजेक्शन आर अंडरटेकन सो रिसेंटली अ पेमेंट बैंक हैज इंट्रोड्यूस एन इशूअर एन इशूअर चार्ज फॉर यूजिंग दिस फीचर सो विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज दैट पेमेंट बैंक द ऑप्शन आर इंडिया पोस्ट पेमेंट्स बैंक एयरटेल पेमेंट्स बैंक एन एस डी एल पेमेंट्स बैंक पेटीएम पेमेंट्स बैंक एंड जियो पेमेंट्स बैंक सो द करेक्ट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज ए इंडिया पोस्ट पेमेंट बैंक द न्यूज इज दैट रिसेंटली इंडिया पोस्ट पेमेंट बैंक विच इज अंडर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ पोस्ट अंडर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ communications under ministry of communications has introduced issuer charges for any type of aadhar enabled payment system services and this issuer charge will be effective from 15th june 2022 we have already talked about aps it is a bank led model which allows online interoperable financial inclusion transaction at pos or micro atms through the business correspondent or the bank mitras using your aadhar identification or authentication now moving forward what are the facilities or what are the transactions that you can undertake through the aadhar enabled payment system you can you can perform basic banking transactions like bank inquiry cash withdrawal cash deposits as well as any remittances that you want to send over to other person through a business correspondent these are the services which are provided by aeps the banking services like cash deposit withdrawal balance inquiry the mini statement any type of fund transfer through aadhar to aadhar linked banks any type of authentication and the bheem aadhar pay the other services are this finger detection e kyc demographic authentication and aadhar seeding status moving forward what are the inputs or what are the items that are required for a customer to do a transaction under aeps agar aap kisi banking correspondent ke paas jaate ho then what all information do you have to provide it is very simple you need to provide the name of the bank in which you have an account अगर आपका यूनियन बैंक में है तो आपको यूनियन बैंक का नाम प्रोवाइड करना पड़ेगा देन योर आधार नंबर वॉट एवर आधार नंबर यू हैव एंड द फिंगर प्रिंट कैप्चर ड्यूरिंग द एनरोलमेंट सो वन टाइम एनरोलमेंट इज डन एट अ स्पेसिफिक बैंकिंग कॉरेस्पॉन्डेंट आपके फिंगर प्रिंट और आपके आधार नंबर और आपके बैंक के नेम से आपकी ट्रांजेक्शन कर दी जाएगी जहाँ से आप विड्रॉ कर सकते हो डिपॉजिट कर सकते हो एंड इन इवन इन दैट केस यू कैन इंक्वायर अबाउट योर बैलेंसेस इन योर अकाउंट ठीक है इसमें आपको बैंक अकाउंट डिटेल्स नहीं प्रोवाइड करना आईएफएससी नहीं प्रोवाइड करना ना ही आपको अपना एटीएम कार्ड यूज करना है सो दिस इन अ वे प्रिवेंट्स फ्रॉम एनी टाइप ऑफ फ्रॉड एंड इट इज वेरी सिंपल एंड कन्वीनियंट Moving forward, what is the applicable service charge? So, monthly jitni bhi transactions honge, first three transactions will be free of charge. Any type of first three transactions, such as cash withdrawal or deposit or mini statement, will be free of charge. After three transactions done in a month, uske upar jitna bhi hoga, there will be a charge. For any type of cash withdrawal or cash deposit, अगर आप cash withdraw करते हो या cash deposit करते हो then in that case rupees ट्वेंटी plus GST will be charged for every transaction. And in case you are taking out a mini statement, then in that case you will have to pay a charge of rupees फाइव plus GST. I hope this is clear to you. Moving forward, recently. India Post Payment Bank has also signed a sub membership agreement with the Department of Post in order to provide NEFT that is national uh national electronic fund transfer and real time gross settlement transactions for their customers for the customers of IPP B bank with eligible accounts theek hai to unhone IPP that is India Post Payment Bank has signed a a sub membership agreement with department of post in order to provide the facility of neft rtgs transaction these are electronic fund these are electronic transactions right electronic transactions for large amount fund transfers theek hai in india and these are regulated by rbi 
तो उन्होंने अपने कस्टमर्स के लिए एक मेंबरशिप एग्रीमेंट साइन किया है डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ पोस्ट के द्वारा एंड इन ऑर्डर टू फैसिलिटेट दिस इट हैज आल्सो क्रिएटेड अ डेडिकेटेड आईएफएससी कोड व्हाट व्हाट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ आईएफएससी आईएफएससी स्टैंड्स फॉर इंडियन फाइनेंशियल इंडियन फाइनेंशियल सिस्टम इंडियन फाइनेंशियल सिस्टम कोड ठीक है फुल फॉर्म्स आर वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट याद रखना क्योंकि एग्जाम में कुछ भी पूछा जा सकता है राइट सो आईएफएससी कोड जनरेट किया गया है डेडिकेटेडली मेंट फॉर दिस एन ई एफ टी आर टी जी एस ट्रांजेक्शन ठीक है सो दिस वॉज द न्यूज एडिशनल न्यूज रिगार्डिंग इंडिया पोस्ट पेमेंट बैंक सो दिस वॉज ऑल फॉर टूडे इन केस इफ यू नीड अ फ्री पी डी एफ ऑफ टूडे सेशन then you can download it from our telegram group all free pdfs are provided out there so this was all for today i hope you like the session in case of any query in case of any doubt you can write it down in the comment section you can write it down in the comment section all the best all of you guys prepare well for phase 2 bye bye and take care thank you